right now you're being lied to about TikTok ads. Everyone out there right now, including myself, is telling you to jump on the platform. But the truth is, will it work for your business? Honestly, not all businesses are going to succeed with TikTok ads. And this is why I need to put together this video to explain the reasons why you should or shouldn't be jumping on the platform right now. Right now, a lot of businesses and brands are jumping on the platform and get overwhelmed and confused and start to give up quite quickly on the platform and then they start to make excuses. They start to blame TikTok and think it's not as effective as the other channels that they're currently running right now. But I'm here to tell you, you can't blame it on TikTok or the algorithm. The reason why you're probably failing right now is because you haven't set up the right game plan to actually get success on the platform right now. So the thing is with TikTok ads, it's not going to be the magic pill that's gonna solve all your marketing and traffic issues. You need to come to the platform with a proven offer, service or product that are already converting, whether that's from organic perspective or from your other channels, i.e. like Meta, Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat, Google, YouTube. What TikTok ads will do, it will add fuel to the fire. So let's say, for example, you're currently at 50K a month with your, your offer. What TikTok will do will add a new traffic source and it'll start to add more to that 50K and start to get you to the next level, whether that's going to 80K or 100K. But you can't do this overnight with no plan and just guessing and hoping for the best. Because this is what a lot of people do right now on the platform. They try and just guess. They try and use their creative that they're using on their other platforms and hope for the best. And this is why you will not get success on the platform right now. So the main thing you got to realize with TikTok ads, you need to have patience with the platform. I feel like when I speak to many brands right now, they may be spending 50K and getting great success, whether it's on Google or Facebook or Instagram. And they think, okay, if I'm getting success here, I should easily be able to get success on TikTok. But the facts are like this. Imagine taking yourself back to when you started running activity on Google ads, on YouTube ads, on Facebook and Instagram. I can guarantee you from day one, you wasn't getting the great ROI numbers that you might be seeing today. And the reason for this is because you need to gather data on the platforms. You need these algorithms to learn. You need to quote unquote season the pixels and you need to obviously give the platform enough budget, enough creative and find winning formulas that's gonna work on the platforms. And this is no different with TikTok ads. It's just that people right now are very tunnel vision and feel like because they're already getting success on other platforms, they don't need to basically give another platform a chance. And if they do give the platform a chance and it doesn't reward them within let's say 30 days, they feel that that platform is a waste of time and they go back to what they know best. And that's all good, but you've got to remember, you can't put all your eggs into one basket. And this is how we became a TikTok ads agency. When iOS 14 came out and a lot of brands were starting to move their budget away from Facebook because they couldn't track, they weren't getting the great results and they needed another solution to get better results. And since then, TikTok has improved time and time again. But like I say, you need to have the right ingredients to make it work. So this is how the best strategy looks for TikTok ads right now. But I do warn you, this is the first thing you got to take into consideration. You need to understand that you need to give the platform at least 30 days before making an actual decision. Within that 30 days, you might actually not make money. You might not break even. So you might actually lose money. But you got to realize that you're actually buying data. And yes, if you may lose money in the first 30 days, if you look at a longer picture in terms of over 90 days, 180 days or a year, that actual initial spend is going to snowball to give you enough information to be able to optimize and scale on the platform at a later date and still be ahead of your competitors. So give yourself 30 days on the platform and expect to lose money. That's kind of the mentality you need to kind of take with the platform because then you know that you are trying, you're testing and you're figuring it out and you may have to spend before you actually get results. So with that, you want to kind of put aside $100 per day minimum to spend. So if you're looking over a 30 day period, you're gonna probably spend about 3K of that initial testing budget to kind of figure out if it's gonna work or not, or get some data points to make iterations based on what you're seeing. And then the bigger picture, you want to give yourself at least 90 days to kind of figure out if TikTok's gonna work for you and your brand. And the reason why I say 90 days is because then you give yourself a 10K budget 
and that's broken down by, like I say, if it's $100 a day, you look on average about 3K a month and you've got at least one grand spare or kind of like a buffer. If you're seeing stuff that's working, you can start to scale up effectively, efficiently, and start to get results based on your actual data and results. Then the next step, you wanna create three to five ad concepts. And like I say, don't try and reinvent the wheel. Look at what your competitors are currently doing on the platform, see how you can implement it, put your spin on it, and then go and run on the platform. And then from then onwards, you need to be then looking at your data very granularly to make sure you are actually analyzing and understanding what's working. And I would recommend definitely getting a third party tool to track your results. So when it comes to third party, like say we're affiliate of Hyros and we highly recommend them if you have an offer, if you're in for a product, your service, anything along the lines of that. Or if you're an e-com brand, then I would suggest something like Triple Whale because you need to be looking at this data. You can look in the TikTok ad platform, but as we all know in terms of platforms right now, the data is not accurate. So having that third party view of it will make it a lot more clearer to make actual decisions. And you probably see that within TikTok ads manager, you might not see any sales, but in your third party data to tracking tool, you will actually see sales coming through. So you don't want to be like, say, just having TikTok ads manager as your, your source of truth, because realistically, you could actually be getting sales coming through that are not getting picked up by TikTok ads manager. So to recap, give yourself 90 days, a 10K budget, three to five ad concepts, look at that data and then optimize based on what you're seeing. I guarantee you, if you do this, you'll start to understand the platform, you'll start to actually get results on the platform and you'll then be able to take it to the next level. If you enjoy videos like this, then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and check the next video where we go through other TikTok ad strategies.